We don't just treat things as separate disciplines. It's not just math, it's not just science, or just using technology by itself to type on a computer. Um, you take all of those things and you bring them together in the real world. So we're asking students to think like an engineer, think like an astronaut. How are we going to make it make a sound or do something? And I think the thing that we don't value enough right now is that engineering can begin at the elementary school. If we start teaching it at the elementary level and we build in the arts and the you know creativity into it, um, we can start to appeal to girls as well. If we can build in the right things in the right age, girls start to see themselves as engineers. <laughs> students are going to college and, and students are coming out of college and we're not filling those high-end engineering positions because we're not preparing them to do those types of jobs. One of the big pushes though right now is the science standards that are coming out and those take a very integrated approach with the science and the math and the engineering. I think STEM education is extremely important in the classroom because it's relevant to what real-world engineers and real-world scientists do. When I received the Presidential Award for Excellence in Science Teaching, um, it was kind of a surreal moment. I think, you know, sometimes I think I teach a little too outside of the box, but I think um, the fact that it was a STEM lesson that I've submitted um, probably is relevant to what's going on right now. I studied in the Educational Technology Program at Lesley University, and I teach here in Pelham Elementary School. I teach in Richmond, and I help teachers integrate technology.